exclusive from NanjaCelebrity.com. Hi, my name is Erica Lasan. I'm a jewelry designer and video host residing in the tri-state area. Both of my parents are from Nigeria, but I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, and I grew up in Maryland. Um, I'm 26 years old, and I've been dating my boyfriend now for a little over six and a half years. Uh, he's actually not Nigerian, he's Jamaican. Um, and I love him to bits. And now that I'm getting a little bit older, and um, especially because I have been dating my boyfriend for as long as I have, um, there's a topic that seems to always make it into everybody's mouth, which is marriage. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of people are expecting my boyfriend Nick to propose soon. Um, and in having these conversations with my mother, I realized that um, she expects a lot from the both of us uh, as we figure out what the next steps are in our relationship and in life. Um, what I didn't realize was that she expected me to be super traditional. I thought that being raised in a Nigerian household, I knew all of the cultures and traditions, but having these conversations makes me realize that I know nothing. Because of this, uh, I have decided that I would like to visit Nigeria for the first time. And I'm calling this project my Nigerian birthright. I've always been scared to visit Nigeria. When a lot of people speak about Nigeria, nothing good comes to mind. Uh, the first things that come to mind are corruption, poverty, um, and scams. <laughs> a lot of people know Nigerians as scammers, but not all of them are like that. Um, and oh, witchcraft, that's another thing you hear about. Uh, you don't really hear about the positive and light side of Nigerians because even though, yes, those things do exist, Nigerians are some of the most friendly, outgoing, and loving people you will ever meet. Nigerians really do love life. And if there's anything that I want to take away um, or that I want to show about the Nigerian culture, that is what it is. For a country that has so much negativity associated with it, there's so much potential um, in Nigeria. And I feel like, yes, people may struggle there, but out of that struggle, um, there has been hope. And I feel like because of that hope, like there's been a lot of great artists and musicians and um, innovation that's come from Nigeria and right now I'm seeing that Nigeria is kind of on the verge of change. Nigerian fashion is blowing up, Nigerian music artists are blowing up um, and Nigeria is really going through this change where um, if people gave it a chance it really could become one of the world's greatest and most exotic um, tourist attractions because there's so much to be seen and had in Nigeria. I'm planning on going to Nigeria in December because my mother is going to be going back to visit some family um, for a vacation and I feel like it would be best to go with somebody that actually knows the country um, and knows what to expect. One thing that I really want to do is explore the country for everything that it is. Um, as a Nigerian born in America, um, when it came to things like black history and slavery and things like that, I didn't associate myself with slavery because to myself I always thought my parents came on a plane, you know? But the fact of the matter is most of the slaves that were in the U.S. came from Nigeria. Um, and I feel like that's something that I would like to explore. I would like to explore um, Ife, which is the birthplace of the Yoruba uh, civilization, which is the tribe that I'm from. My younger sister and brother actually lived in Nigeria for three years, but I was never given that opportunity. At the point when they were being sent though, I don't really think they looked at it as an opportunity as much as being shipped away. But um, I've always wanted to go and like right now I feel as though I've missed out on something. My younger sister, she um, connects with Nigeria and connects with the Yoruba tradition in a way that I um, really wish I could. 
So I feel like through this trip, I will be able to do that and um, that way I can pass tradition and culture on to my children as well. I'm hoping to do that with Nicholas at my side so that he will be able to uh, gain an understanding of the Nigerian tradition as well because Lord knows, sometimes it can be confusing. I'm hoping to be in Nigeria for 21 days um, and most of the trip will probably take place in Lagos and Ondo State which is where my parents are from but because I want to explore all of Nigeria um, I am planning on making a couple of day trips and excursions throughout the country like possibly spending three to four days in the southern region of Nigeria and two to three days in the northern region. Um, this will give me an opportunity to really uh, showcase Nigeria's diversity both um, religiously, politically, as well as just the way the regions even are and the culturally. I guess you would kind of say that it's being shot gorilla style or organically, um, but I don't really think it needs to be a really high-end or high-cost production. Because this is supposed to be a travel documentary, I am hoping to shoot it more organically. Um, what I would like to do is have my younger brother, who lived in Nigeria for three years, come with us and that he would be able to shoot most of the footage. One, because of his familiar familiarity um, with the area and two, because um, he knows me. So I feel like he would really be able to capture um, me um, as well as this place. I feel like as an artist, he's very good at balancing those two things. I'm still looking for a home networker channel uh, that includes websites <laughs> um, for this project um, as well as sponsors because this trip is a really big undertaking that I've been planning and doing on my own. Um, so if you are interested in being in, becoming involved, please email me at ericalassan at gmail.com. Anyone who's interested in Nigeria, anyone who's kind of going through the same thing that I'm going through where they're dating somebody who doesn't fully understand the culture but they respect it enough to go with the traditions like posturing or kneeling down before elders um, even though they don't really know why. Um, I just feel like it would be a really good learning experience for anyone and everyone who is viewing it. Um, and for those Nigerians who are viewing it, I feel like it'll give them a really good sense of pride and um, make them want to do more for their country. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video and I look forward to hearing from you all soon. Bye!